everybody, and welcome to this episode of the I Hate Matt Ball Poetry Podcast, where today we are going to learn the future of Poetic Anarchy Press, and we will also try not to lose our fucking minds because somebody decided to chop down a fucking tree outside as soon as I started recording this. Go fucking figure. The one thing I do want to do before we get any further into this is on the last episode, I forgot to do the motherfucking shout out. So I'd like to do that now to show my penance for fucking up last time. It had just been a while since I recorded a podcast. So, so I want to thank those motherfuckers over there on Patreon. I want to thank Michael, Cedar, and Harry. Then, for those of you in the thank you crew, I want to give a big thank you to you. Patrick, to Britt, to Jan, to Deb, to Ethan, to Julia, to Lauren, and to Booknick. Thank you guys as well. And then over there in the fucking Anarchy crew, where the big swinging dick swing, I want to give a big thank you to you. Nate, to Mindy, to Thomas, to Shaylin, to Tamara, to Adam, to Chase, to JH, and to Cedar. Thank you guys so much. Love ya. And then for the biggest swinging dicks in the world, we got the motherfuckers over there in the chat book, the month club, and yes, I said plural. Okay? So I want to give a big thank you to Caitlin and then to our newest big swinging motherfucking dick. I want to give a big thank you to Trip Kraus. Now, Trip. I don't have your address, so I need you to send me an email so I have your address so I can send you shit. So let's make that happen, okay? Now that I'm all amped up and ready to go. Man, that really fucking gets me going. Talking about you guys and thanking you for being so fucking awesome. That really fucking chirped me up. I was in a fucking down spot five minutes ago. Shit. Can you believe it? Fuck me, dude. Oh, yeah. But what I want to talk about today... Well, you know what? Is there anything else I want to talk about? Oh, there is something I want to talk about. The whole deal with me moving and leaving here. There are some wish list things that I need. I'm also getting rid of all my shit, which we already talked about before. But there is some wish list stuff that I need. Okay, And if any of you guys have these things and you're not using them and you don't mind throwing them over to me, I'd appreciate it. Because that would just be one less thing I have to buy before I vanish. But I'm looking at um, getting a Kindle or something. I would like, I I think I would like a paper white, but um, I've, I've heard mixed things about them. So if any of you, you could recommend like what you think I should get, that would be awesome. But then if any of you have a Kindle you're not using and you would like to donate it to the guy who's getting rid of all of his books, (laughs) let me know. That would be awesome. Um, And we, we can work something out. I'm also looking to get a GoPro so I can use my phone for other things, but just not use it as much for shooting. So if any of you have a GoPro you're not using, let me know. And then if any of you have a unlocked phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android, I probably would probably prefer an Android, actually, that you're not using, um, just because if I'm going to all these different countries, I'm going to need to just, like, throw SIM cards into it everywhere I go, so that would be awesome. But again, that is only for those of you who might have an extra one of these things laying around that you're not using, because that's just shit I'm going to have to buy. So, if that's you, let me know, and thank you for it. And again, if you want me to come to your neck of the woods before I vamoose from this country, you gotta let me know. Time is running short. Even if you want me to come, but you don't know what to do, we can talk about that and figure it out, okay? But that is what's going on. So now... Drum roll, please. On with the slow. 
All right, so the future of shit. Poetic Anarchy Press. I have some plans that I would like to try out. I don't know. I'm so pissed that they decided to do all this shit right now. L let me let me wait like 45 minutes. Okay, their generator's still going, but the sawing stopped. They're not cutting a tree. They're actually cutting the curbing off of the side of the road with a circular saw. I have no idea. Poetic Anarchy Press, am I right? What I wanted to kind of go over and throw out there, I, I kind of want to see how you guys feel about this. And if you guys feel good about this, then I'm interested in doing this. If you guys don't care, then I'll fuck off. Okay? Easy come, easy go, you know? So what my plan was, when I started... Well, shit. When I started Poetic Anarchy, it was to find like-minded poets who were writing shit from the heart that had a voice that I enjoyed reading because I just wanted to find good shit to read. That was the whole reason why this whole thing fucking started. I felt like there was a ridiculous amount of poetry out there and all the poetry I was reading seemed really vapid and really trite and really sterilized. And I just wanted some real shit. And so I put the Poetic Anarchy course together in hopes of trying to find a way to... If I had to teach people how to write in a way that is something I would want to read. I know that sounds fucking stupid and weird and almost selfish, but like... Mm -hmm. Um, I was just, I was getting to the point where I was getting mad that I couldn't find shit I wanted to read. And, um, I just, I felt like there was so much potential out there, but no one was like going for it, you know? So that's how the thing started. And then the press started because, well, first off. Okay, take two. It's another day. Um, <laughs> it's been raining since um, yesterday. And because it's raining, there's nobody outside doing dumb shit, cutting shit up, and doing whatever the fuck it is they're doing. So the only noises you'll hear now are cars driving through a wet street or my radiator um, having a fucking knip. So, as I was saying, I had to go back and watch. The reason why I started Poetic Anarchy Press is because I was putting stuff out. I was putting my stuff out, and then I was putting out the anthologies. It probably started, too, with Bunny Wild. Like, um, she was just writing a ridiculous amount of stuff, and it was all fucking good. And she had... I'm trying to remember what came first. I don't remember which came first now. But um, we were talking about putting out uh, Potato Manifesto when we were doing the first uh, Poetic Anarchy course. Um, because that assignment, or that book, was written through one of the Poetic Anarchy assignments. And... Um, so I really wanted to put that out, but it took like a year before I got that out. But I think that um, her ebook for Monsters in the Mouth came out before that, and I put that out for her. It was just like I was 
putting so much stuff out and then I started the blood rag. I think like the original press name was Bloodshed Press. Poetic Anarchy Press just worked so much better for so many different reasons. So um, I quickly changed the name to Poetic Anarchy Press since that's what the whole thing was based on anyway. And in fact, if you have one of the first 20, was it the first 20? or the first 25 um, copies of Poems About Fucking, on the back, where I normally have the Poetic Anarchy logo, um, I think it says Bloodshed Press on it. Pretty sure. And I think that's the only chapbook that has that. I don't know if Runner Up has it. So anyway, so that's why um, I started uh, Poetic Anarchy Press. And then if you remember back in my video i can't remember what the video was called but i was trying to explain like a tiered marketing system for poets and that's when um bloodshed review started in my head this plan makes perfect sense because honestly it's the same plan i used when running a record label it's the same plan I used when I was just booking shows for bands. And so I thought poets would be no different, and I was totally fucking wrong. And I think I even said in that video, I said, like, if this doesn't work, I'll be the first one to fucking tell you. <laughs> and it didn't work because I feel like poets, especially poets that didn't come out of bands... And didn't come out of like playing shows and doing like DIY shit. When poets I've worked with did not come out of that world, they had like kind of little to no idea as to what to do. There's been a lot of people who've said, like, can you make videos on how to do these things? I said, yes, I would. And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, it's it's all about longevity, like not giving up, connecting with your audience, and giving your audience something to always be excited about. Everything's about anticipation. If you can't create anticipation about something, whatever you're hawking or selling or whatever is dead. Anticipation is the whole fucking thing, you know? Like, you have to get people excited about something that's going to happen. And if people aren't excited, no one's going to give a shit. And I feel like poets especially, and I think, too, it has to do with it being an isolated, lonely venture. Poets have the hardest time in the world trying to convince themselves that what they're doing is exciting, let alone other people. So I feel like that is one of the biggest drawbacks to anything with poetry. And then I was thinking, I'm like, but like if, you know, we can make a scene, you know, like things would be totally different. And I think if I got all of the people in the Anarchy crew and all of the thank you crew peeps and just all the people who have been so supportive of Poetic Anarchy Press. If we all lived in the same city, we could take over the fucking world. But obviously that's not something that's going to happen. This, this whole idea, this whole conquest for world domination through fucking Posey, okay... It's going to take a lot longer. And the more I think about it, I feel like if we lay the groundwork for this shit, hopefully by the time I'm dead, like this will be the norm for shit. But I feel like poetry moves at such a snail's pace, which is funny because poetry is so short. It should be quick. So the poetry is quick, but the poets are fucking slow as shit. 
and full of self-doubt and self-loathing and all of that shit. And I hear you. I'm, I'm right there with you. I'm not trying to talk shit. But this is about the future of Poetic Anarchy Press. So as you know, Blood Rag and the Bloodshed Review have been on hiatus since December. Well, Bloodshed Review a bit longer. There are some things I have noticed that has kept me from wanting to fucking do shit. And for those of you who saw my members only video where I um, kind of had a breakdown, I didn't get into all of it, but I got into some of it. What has happened through some of this shit? There were a couple people, and again, it, it just takes one hole to sink a ship, guys. But there was a couple people who pulled some shit that made me not want to fucking help anyone anymore. And hear me out before you get pissed off at me. But I'm doing everything I'm doing because I love fucking this shit. I love poetry. I love fucking, like, reading the shit that you guys write because I'm finally getting shit I like. I had one person... Well, there were two people who did it, but one person specifically who gave me a bunch of shit about money. Like, why the fuck should I be um, giving you my poetry when you're making all this money off of it? Dude, if you could fucking show me how much fucking money I'm making off your poetry, like... I would give all of it to you because I would be able to put the change in one hand and hand it to you. Dude, like, okay, so for the most part, the blood rag is free, okay? Like, you could download it off my website. Um, when I was charging for it, I was charging usually a dollar. I think one time I charged $2 just to see if people would bite. So for a dollar and free shipping... I'm paying for paper and I'm paying for ink. I'm printing the shit out. I'm paying for envelopes and I'm paying for postage, which is 74 cents. So tell me how much I'm making off of your wonderful, beautiful poem, okay? Because that's fucking jackass shit, okay? So that pissed me off. Then I got some shit about somebody who I had published who was accused and there was an open case against for a certain offense and then something happened again to this person um, legally. And I had people hit me up saying I shouldn't be putting out people who have this, 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 and that. Then if you remember, if you're like old school anarchy crew, you'll remember like over a year ago, there, we had a problem with somebody. I asked them to leave because they were making some people feel uncomfortable. So because I fucking asked somebody to leave, um, they spent the next month making shitty fucking videos about me. Whatever. I don't give a shit. I seriously got more subscribers from that whole fucking ordeal anyway. But I don't want to have to fucking deal with that shit. I don't fucking care. I have enough going on in my life that the last thing I fucking need, seriously, is somebody's fucking stupid petty bullshit. Then there was a, another person who I was doing some work with who um, I didn't realize anything about this person out of the ordinary. And then they got into a bunch of bullshit on some social media site talking about um, the conflict over there on the other side of the world right now and had some hot takes and pissed a bunch of people off. And then that in turn had people write me telling me that um, I should not be giving this person a platform because yada, 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 yada. It just like, it got to the point where I didn't want to be the fucking police of poets. 
I don't fucking care that much. I want to have an easy life. I have enough problems of my own. I'm just trying to get through the day writing. I'm just trying to get through the day without fucking making myself so depressed that I do something stupid. The last thing I fucking need is to be the arbiter of all of your guys' bullshit. Now, I know this is a small fraction of the people who were doing shit. And so even though those bad apples fucked up the bushel or whatever the fuck you the saying is, I feel bad because there's a lot of you out there who are fucking awesome, who write amazing shit and don't have any fucking problems. Or at least problems that you bring to my fucking doorstep. And so because of that, what I was, and if, if you guys know anything about like what I'm doing in my life right now, I'm about to fucking leave and go kind of full fucking nomad traveler fucking dude, because I am just trying to follow the fucking muse, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, all of these things happening like kind of brought this kind of full circle to where I was like, okay, like I'll still put out like my shit, but I'm fucking done helping anybody. I'm done putting shit out. I'm done doing all this. Okay. And mainly because I'm not going to have a way to put shit out, especially the way I was putting shit out. Um, like the bloodshed review, um, I'm probably not going to continue that until I have a home base. Blood Rag, I might still do digitally. That's up in the air. One of the things that I was talking to some people about, um, I've been, I, there's certain poets out there whose books I want to put out. And um, in order to put the books out in the way that I need them to be in stores for this to make sense, I need to have a lot of capital behind me, okay? And I don't have that right now because I fucking live in LA and it's expensive as fuck here to live and I'm barely fucking scraping by right now with all of my meager shit. So um, I need to be able to stack some fucking cash if that's something I'm gonna do. Now, some of you have come at me with some ideas and I appreciate the fact that you guys care enough to want to make sure this doesn't like go under and stuff like that. Um, but the ideas that you've been bringing to me are so like it would be helpful for like five minutes or a week and a half, but it's not sustainable. And if you can't create a sustainable model for anything, like you're you're doomed to fail. You're throwing good money at bad, you know? It just it will not sustain itself. With all of this said, I should have said earlier that there is some positive shit at the end of this. This isn't all doom and gloom, trust me. Because I have an idea. And I want to hear what you guys think about this. Now, one of the reasons why this idea came up is because so many of you have been putting out your own stuff and have told me that I inspired you to do this thing. And like you've been putting out your own books, your own ebooks, your own chat books, doing your own, like you're just doing a ton of shit. And from everyone from Shaylin to Jeff to Ethan to Adam to JH has done stuff. And then some of you have just been sending me your shit. It's fucking awesome. So if my whole purpose was to just inspire you guys to do something, then fucking think shit. I'm fucking stoked for that. In talking to some of you, for those of you who have been a little bummed out when I was talking about putting Poetic Anarchy Press on hold and um, the fact that you guys are doing shit, a thought popped into my head and I have been rolling it around um, for about a week or so now. And I've reached out to some of you and threw some shit at you and tried to just get your opinions of it. And you guys came back with some good shit. So this is like the second stage of me trying to figure out if this is going to work. What the plan is right now 
is I think what I would like to do with um, Poetic Anarchy Press is make it more of a collective in terms of it being more of like a fair use kind of thing. So what this would mean is if you want to put a book out and then stamp Poetic Anarchy Press on it, go ahead and do that. Um, no one's asking for any money to do that. No one's, you, no one has to give me any money to do that. Nobody's got to do shit. You know, like if you think being a part of Poetic Anarchy is like something of a movement that you want to be a part of, if you feel like um, you're anti gatekeeping, you're anti um, academic poetry, of like um, just anti like pretend, bland, trite bullshit you know and want to be a part of a group of people who are like-minded then yes use poetic anarchy press on your fucking books now something came up and um somebody said well that could get really bad really quick like if you have some like bad actors in there or something or what if somebody like puts out a book full of like racist shit or homophobic shit or um, political shit or religious shit that um, you don't agree with, you know, like, do you want that on you? And I will tell you why I don't want that on me. Because when I first thought of this, I'm just like, yeah, let's just fucking give the Poetic Anarchy logo out and whoever wants to use it can use it. But then I was thinking that that will only be beneficial to anybody if, like, I keep some sort of website or page up or a wikia or a Wikipedia or something that has everyone shit who's a part of this. So at least even if... Like, there isn't, like, a growing fan base for this yet. At least the people who are a part of it can help support the other people in the movement or in the scene. So, with that said, then, yes, there does need to be some guidelines, even though the whole thing is, like, anarchy. Okay. <clears throat> Which is funny. But I think what's going to happen is is that I'm going to have not necessarily a board of directors or anything like that, but there's going to be some gatekeepers. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. You guys know what I mean, though. Um, in order to do this and to be put on the official page, um, you need to submit your book. God, now this sounds like a fucking thing. None of this costs you anything. No one's making any money off of this, okay? we need to see the book and read it and just make sure you're not saying anything fucking stupid. Okay. And that you're not a douchebag. That's it. Then we will tell you, Hey, if you want to put this out with the poetic anarchy logo, here's the fucking, um, PNG file, knock yourself out. Let us know when it's up and I'll put a link on this page. Okay. And then we could all be a part of something. Now, um, one of the things, too, when I was doing the Bloodshed Review was, if you noticed, every time an issue came out, I would put where the poets are in the world, like where they're from. Be and I think that's important because if there were other people from that area, I would want them to want to connect with those people and try to build something in that area. So the other thing that came up in my head here is like, again, I'm going to periodically do the blood rags still. Okay. I don't know how, like what form it's going to take over, but I know a lot of you really, really dug the blood rag and you guys were putting stuff out 
and you guys were putting the blood rags up in public and doing all that shit, which I fucking love. Um, so what I think I want to do is if any of you want to make your own blood rag, I mean, do this for whatever the fuck you want to do. It's fine. But if you want to actually use the blood rag moniker with Poetic Anarchy Press, all you would need to do is, um, I would say it to, and this is going to help you build a scene in your area, the way I'm going to say this. If you live in Vegas, okay, it would be the blood rag Vegas. And try to only use poets that are in or close to your area that you could start networking with. Okay. If you are in Chicago, blood rag Chicago. If you're in New York, blood rag New York. Um, like wherever the fuck you are, blood rag Japan. Okay, boom. I would still say make sure you use people's contact. But honestly, if you want the poems to be like fucking 16 lines, do that. If you want the poems to be three lines, do that. I don't fucking care. Like this whole thing is to build community and to build scenes. Like scenes in like IRL scenes in real life. Okay. So you can connect with people and put on events and do stuff in the libraries, do stuff in the coffee shops, you know? So if this is something you want to do and you have been someone who's been uh, approved by the gatekeepers of Poetic Anarchy Press, um, go ahead and do a fucking blood rack. You don't have to put any money towards anything. No one's asking you for a dime. This is uh, the whole anarchy fucking thing. If you want to fucking do something, go fucking do it. If being a part of something gives you more incentive to do something, to stick your neck out there, then be a part of this. You know? So if this is something that you think is a good idea, send me an email, ihatematwall@gmail.com, and... Tell me what your thoughts are. Tell me what your fears are. Tell me what things are not a good idea that I'm talking about. Um, tell me what things are. And then if you are somebody who has put something out and you are down with the cause and you want to be added to the thing, let me know. So like <clears throat> like Jessica, if, you, if your book, if you want that to be a part of this, I'll put it on the list. Because you're fucking awesome and your poetry's good. I'm fine with that. But like, so all of my books would be on there. Um, Bunny's books would be on there. Um, Shaylin's uh, Fornicating with the Elements. Uh, Mindy's uh, Skeletons. Jeff's um, Shipbrick Paradox. Those were the chat books that were in the, um, the Bloodshed, Bloodshed Review. Yeah. Um, but like Ethan, you know, like if you want your like the Christmas book you did in there, let me know. Like <clears throat> Adam, if you want your audio books a part of this, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. Like it, I just want all of us to feel like we belong and we are able to help promote each other. And help build something and help just bring attention to shit that isn't something that's going to get a fucking Guggenheim. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody's got to fucking look out for us. So if you guys think this is a bad idea, then I'll fucking just kill Poetic Anarchy Press. I'll, it has done an amazing thing. Um, it's inspired people. It's been cool. I love it. Great. It ran its course. If you guys want to keep it alive by doing stuff like this, then let's do stuff like this. But, like, honestly, motherfuckers need to start defacing property. 
Like, we need to spray paint the fucking walls. So start fucking learning how to draw that thing and fucking doing it all over the fucking place. Because you can't have a good movement without defacement of property. Everybody knows that, guys. I'm, I'm still going to be putting out, like, at least, like, print-on-demand books through it. You know, just because that's what I've been doing. But yeah, if you guys want to do it, do it. And it, I don't care if it, like Chasey, like you guys don't even understand. Chasey has so many like digital chapbooks she's made that I don't think she's ever put out. Chasey, if you want to fucking be a part of this with all of those, fucking let me know. The reason why I'm like even doing this on the podcast is I get comments a lot i get emails a lot from people asking if i'm accepting submissions for chat books and people are like man I, i've got this chat book i really want to put out like are you taking submissions like so um this is go time like if you really want to put those out send them in we'll look at it and make sure you're not a stupid racist piece of shit and then we'll fucking put it out or we won't put it out, but you'll put it out and then we'll put it up on the site, you know? And hopefully in doing this, like we could create a network to where if any of you guys wanted to tour and go to different cities and do even just to do open mics or something like that, you have people that you're connected to all across the country, maybe even the world where you can like figure out, oh, I could go stay with so and so and read it blankety blank. You know, poetry needs to have that fucking punk rock mindset. Like it, it's, it's weird that it doesn't. <laughs> um, you know, whatever. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So if this has been exciting to you guys, if you guys think this is a great idea, or if you think this is a shit idea, please let me know. And now we'll just get into the butt plugs. All right. Time to plug yo butt. Okay. So, oh, here's a butt plug for you. Matthew Buckley Smith's new book, Midlife, available on Amazon. Or wherever you f f get fine books. I think he said it was on Barnes & Noble as well. So um, go take a look at it. Um, I haven't read the whole book. I've heard him read um, a few poems out of it. And it's fucking good shit. Okay. B Bucks did well. Okay. Bucks will tell you that his book is good. I think his book is better than that, just based off of the poems I've heard. You know, as he puts it, it's a good book. So, if Bucks thinks it's a good book, it's probably pretty fucking amazing. Hopefully, by February 1st, my new store will be up and running, where you can get all of my chapbooks and stuff, which I don't know if I'm going to put on sale, because here's the thing, you guys tell me what you think. And this is just like a marketing thing. When I put stuff on sale, they don't sell. But when I put them at a regular price, I sell a few. When I put them at a slightly higher price, that's when I sell all my books. So um, I don't know what to tell you guys. Maybe you guys just want to help me out. And so you wait for the prices to go up before you buy. But um, like... Trying to fucking save you guys a buck or two. I'm trying to do you guys a fucking favor here. Okay. Um, for those of you who have ordered anything that hasn't got to you yet, I'm going to the post office Monday. I'm recording this on Saturday. So um, all of those uh, copies of Fuck You, those are going to be finally going out. For those of you who ordered The End of Everything or Winner Your Mom's Sodomy Price for Poetry, those are going to be going out. And then for anyone who made bigger chapbook orders that have not, you have not received them yet. All of those things will be going out um, on Monday. Sorry for the delay. I was trying to not end it all. So 
I'm feeling a little bit better, so I'm going to go to the post office on Monday. I actually have some eBay shipments I have to make too. There are going to be a lot of changes happening on my website and on the YouTube memberships. The memberships are going to be the same. What you get for those membership tiers are going to vary. I said it before, I think. Like, if you guys are pissed off about that and want to end your membership because it's different than it was when you signed up, I completely understand. But um, just know that there will be other things available. So um, hopefully not too many of you guys split. If any of you want me to come out for readings or anything like that anywhere in the country, um, let me know as soon as possible because I'm um, planning on being out of this apartment somewhere in between March and April. And um, at that point, I don't know where the fuck I'm going to be. So if you want me anywhere, I need to know before that. Because then after that, like, I might be on your front porch. I might be in fucking Singapore. Okay? I don't know where the fuck I'm going. But I am going to be spending quite a bit of time overseas um, for the foreseeable future. So that's why I'm trying to get all of my American shit out of the way. And I think I talked about that a little bit in the uh, last podcast. So I won't beat that drum anymore. Go on to Amazon and um, keep buying my books because um, that's where you can get books of mine right now. Okay. So with that said, everybody... Type hard, join the Anarchy Crew, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.